Hey, it's Eric here. We're going to do the undercarriage inspection on this 55 Willys. So a 1968 Camaro was used as a donor vehicle. So underneath this, we have a 1968 Camaro uh, front subframe that's been welded in. The shocks are brand new in the front. Uh, most of the rubber and everything all is in great shape. We didn't replace every single thing. In fact, well, I, I bought it like this. It was already converted. So somebody had already done that. But we did redo the brakes and I did call the uh, parts store and say 1968 Camaro and our brake parts fit right on. So we tested that theory out. The welds are, are awesome. And like I said in the other video, I didn't take the time like I might have on other vehicles to, you know, like clean, wash and clean the, the oil pan and the transmission pan to make it look all perfect. Um, because we really just wanted to to be able to drive it i have a little bit of gravel in the area where we live and so we drive on a dirt road sometimes um, but what was important to me was how solid it is and so hopefully the camera will adjust here so you can see underneath but this is a very solid truck you'll see quite a bit of the old undercoat coating here that's still kind of peeling off but still hanging on so that's not rust floor pans are rust free frame was boxed and welded well here for that front clip no leaks on the engine or transmission we keep it parked in the garage never ever have seen a oil leak well actually that's not true i had seen an oil leak on the transmission pan and i just had it serviced uh it's probably got 100 miles on it since it, since we had the transmission pulled and completely serviced i wish i would have thought to have them put that flywheel cover on i meant to do that and we didn't have a spare one Here's your bed in the back. Again, that's undercoating. I was actually surprised to see that that was painted. Same color, that's pretty cool. This is the bed all in the back, underneath. And, you know, surface rusty kind of things a little bit here and there but even that not that much even as i say that i'm so used to saying that when we do other videos air shocks were installed the chuck is in the back inside the frame like i said i haven't seen any rust so far i'm not i'm careful when i say rust free because i try to be very very you know for sure rust free when we say rust free so i'm going to say 99 percent rust free <laughs> minimal rust if you want to call it that so old tank in the back and it's in great shape. I mean, these are the, you know, back of the inner fender wells. These are spots that oftentimes you'll see lots of rust on these. I just want to show that this is all solid. There's your uh, fuel tank nozzle. Um, rear end is in great shape. And like I said too, so here's your air chuck right here underneath the bumper really easy to access dual exhaust but the number one thing i'm emphasizing under here and this is you know me laying down on the ground to show you guys that this is a very solid solid automobile and that was one of the reasons why i ended up going through actually the the one that i bought right before this i swear i thought it was going to be the one and we got it home and found a bunch of rust in the frame that we didn't see on our initial inspection. A little bit of dirt daubers there, nothing more than that. Like I said, I didn't do it, you know, we didn't pull it up and try and wash the undercarriage or do anything like that. Look, these rockers are in amazing condition. Again, just that, things like this is just, you know, undercoating peeling off and we did not, you know, we didn't put new undercoating. It's interesting, unless we were taking it to like a high dollar, you know, car show or something like that. I don't really actually care that much about the undercarriage being all perfect. It's got a brand new Edelbrock fuel pump. Um, fuel pump actually just went out on it uh, a few days ago. So hopefully I've spent plenty of time under the, under the vehicle for you guys to show. You know, bottoms of the doors are in nice shape. Rockers are in good shape. Maybe just... Uh, go around real slow so you guys can see these body lines especially along the bottoms no bubbles no rust no dings dents cracks 
I'm absolutely enamored and in love with this uh, wraparound rear bumper. Rockers look great. So there you have it. Undercarriage inspection on this thing, proving the vehicle to be overall, I'd say 99% rust free if you want to say that. I didn't notice any rust while we were while we were just doing that video um, or of course in the past few years that we've owned it and kept it in the garage.